Hey everybody. Well, here's another update video on uh, the Fiesta, or Consuela for those of you that know me. Yeah, don't judge. It's an awesome name and you know it. Um, for those of you who know me well, there's a couple of things that have happened to this car, so I thought I'd just do a little update. Um, first of all, let's go in order of which things uh, happened. I went on my vacation with Carl the Creaky Chrysler, as you saw the two videos of. And I came back. As you'll notice, my windows are tinted. See that? Tint, tint, tint. And there's no tint on this window. Um, I came back, and the whole back window here, there was an impact about right here in the middle, and the whole thing was like smashed in. I mean, it wasn't the, the it was safety glass, so it didn't shatter and fall in. And the tint also held the glass in, but it was completely shattered. Had to get a whole new window, uh, back window, and there was a video, uh, door thunk video, I kind of mentioned it in, but this is kind of like a, this is what happened kind of video. Um, this got, piece of glass here was $440 installed, which is freaking ridiculous, if you ask me. I know it's got the little defroster things in it and whatnot, and it's Ford glass. If you'll focus, it is Ford glass, but I mean, come on. 440 bucks? It's tiny. Um, and another word of caution, don't use Safe Light. Because, first of all, he left all kinds of glass in the car. And then if you listen, there's a couple pieces rolling around in the tailgate that I haven't taken the time to take it apart and get them all out. But you can definitely hear them. Like right there, rolling around. Um, but that's the first thing. Hopefully the uh, weather stripping was done properly on the inside here. Actually, it just rained, so it feels dry. Um, of course, there's still some condensation up or some wet marks up there from when the uh, window was broken and it rained. But I don't feel any wetness. There's no wetness up here on the cargo cover. Speaking of cargo cover, there's still little pieces of glass in it that I haven't managed to get out yet. I have to get the vacuum on them. I don't know if you can see that. There's a few shards down there, too. Um, but when I got in here, there was like glass all down in the crevices here, and he managed to get some in the back seat. I don't know how. Like I went in here, and there was glass down here in the seat crevices. Whatever. Um, that's okay. Anyways, the other major thing that happened was actually happened yesterday. Um, I was rolling down the highway. I hit something with this front tire. I, I felt it. I felt it through the front tire and then it, I guess it went through and hit the back tire. This tire went flat. Um, the tire pressure light came on about a mile down the road. Had to pull over, change the tire. It was, I mean, it was pretty severe as I was driving. You could hear it going. It was a pretty bad hole. Um, but the way it ended up working is that I actually, um, the entire tire had to be replaced. Entire tire. <laughs> but, since they couldn't get the OEM tires, which, I'm sorry, Ford dealership selling the Ford Fiesta, and they can't get the OEM tires that Ford put on it. Whatever. Um, so they had to get me some other tires, which were unfortunately Dunlop Signatures. So now I have two brand new Dunlop Signatures, which actually, to be honest, I'm not that upset about because these are actually better tires than the Kumos. These have a tread wheel rating of 620, um, as you can see there, and a traction of A and a temperature of B. So they're not awful tires. I mean, they're at least fairly new, 26th week of 2000. Actually, no, they're not. I still thought it was 2011. These are actually kind of old. 2011, okay, well, they're T speed rated, they're not H speed rated, whatever, who gives a crap? Um, but my thought is, is hey, once these uh, Kumos on the front wear out, I'm just gonna replace all four tires because I can't stand having two different tires or brands on the car. I'd rather have them, you know, all be the same so I know, I'll know they're gonna wear evenly and all that good stuff. You should look at the tread. Not that you can really see it because everything's all wet and stuff just rained here that's why but so let me just say if you're considering getting a new car in the dealership you're at um, sells easy care oh my god please buy easy care <laughs> this was so nice having easy care I did not pay a dime for this 
to get the car in and to get two new tires on it, I did not have to pay a dime. Nothing. All I had to do was sign a piece of paper and that was it. Um, now I did pay a little bit less because I worked for a dealership, but definitely, I mean, this is almost probably, let's see, a third. These tires, uh, mounted and balanced, two of them, was two something. So, I mean, that's, that's a third of my purchase price almost. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting Easy Care if it's presented to you as an option because their tire hazard protection is like freaking amazing. Um, the only thing I was a little upset about is if you look at this tire, Dunlop signature, yeah, see the way it looks. If you go over to the other one, I guess they changed the design. It's still a Dunlop signature, see? But it just doesn't have that little bit that goes across, which, uh, you know, it's a tire. I mean, I didn't pay anything for it, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. All the specs are still the same. It was made um, on the same week, 26th week of 2011. God, these tires are kind of old. But, I mean, either way, really, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I got completely replaced for free. So, really doesn't... It's fine. <laughs> They look a little bit different, but hey, they're going to be gone anyways. You can see all the glue and crap still hanging around on the tires. I'm going to clean that off eventually when I clean the car. But yeah, um, they, I mean, I cannot explain to you how handy that was having easy care. Just handing them the keys and it was all taken care of and I didn't have to pay anything for it, which was great. So here we have our Kumo Solaces on the front. Um, and those are wearing pretty well. I mean, I can't really, I don't see any really noticeable uh, tread wear on them yet. And they've got 4,000 miles on them. Um, if you look really hard, you can still see the hash marks from the, when you get new brake rotors, they have those hash marks in them. You can still see them if you look hard. Um, so the brakes are, are wearing really well. It's a small car, I mean, 4,000 miles. Why am I talking about brakes? I must sound like a moron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3,904 miles. Other than that, that's been my update. A seven and a half minute update. I'm sorry, guys. I'm rambling. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.